what's up guys winter kills welcome back to dark souls 2 skull of the first sin and in the last episode we got rest we got through the rest of earth and peak uh basically completing the whole area and uh getting through mytha and here we are there and keep uh so hopefully in this episode we can get through as much as we can i don't really have a a goal set uh this area is going to be a lot more difficult because uh, they did add a lot of more enemies here like as far as the lone knights go and they move some things around. So, I know a lot of people are having trouble with this area. Um, especially those who go here early on in the game. It's very, very difficult. So that's why I wanted to come here last. Uh, for our last boss fight encounter with the Iron uh, King. So hopefully, we can get through here uh, pretty easily. <laughs> and uh, you're going to get to see what I mean right off the bat. Is that this guy charges you from so far away. But I want to show you this. That's not what I wanted to show you. The fact is that if you two-hand, at least for me, uh, two-handing this mace with a R1 is a one-shot. So that'll come in handy. And aiding me through uh, to get here. And yeah, there's basically nothing else here besides that one knight. And there's two invasions that happen here. Fencer Sharon, as we're seeing right now. She got the Puzzling Stone Sword and the Spider Fang, I believe. And uh, one of the tiaras from the Sunken King DLC. Which is kind of annoying. Let's see if I can stun lock her. Maybe go for the backstab. Come on. Yeah, that puzzling stone sword hits like a bitch. Yeah, armor Dennis also invades here, and as you may have saw, he invaded us in Force of Fallen Giants. In one of the latter areas. Alright, fuck off. So basically, if we were to die again and come through here again, we'd... I think we'd get invaded by uh, Armored Dennis, I believe. So there's two invasions there to take place of the two other Alone Knights that were there. I guess they thought that'd be a uh, step up. And it is. Come on. There's that one shot I was talking about. I wasn't lying. I see you counted the one shot. Lucky for you, sir. Lucky for you. I'm gonna go talk to Magarold real quick. See what he's up to. Well, who are you? I love his accent. <laughs> who else? What? Have a look at my wares. I would love to take a look at your wares. Please show me your wares. So basically, uh, he's going to sell us a lot of the uh, boss armor sets from the Iron King DLC, uh, including Fume Knight and Sir Elon. So, And he also sells Dragon Rider uh, stuff too. Because, you know, he's all addicted to dragons and stuff. Alright, well, I think we'll buy one of these off of him. Finally a repair powder. I guess we'll take the effigy. Not really looking to pick up any spells. Alright. Actually, uh, I don't want to... I don't need the gesture set yet. The gesture set is really good for stopping backstabs and uh, item discovery. But I'm not really trying to farm for anything as of now. Maybe later when I try to get the uh, katana... Kat yeah, katana. Katana of the... Uh, Mad Warrior. Um, that's when I usually use that stuff. For some hardcore farming. Because I'm a hardcore farmer. You know? Gotta get those crops. See ya. Little 
bitch. Yeah, we'll come back for that item. Don't feel like dying to that. Oh shit, where, the, where did you come from? Like, let's be honest. And, as you can see, that is an archer. Well, you can't really see, but he's an archer. Uh, and they moved his position from over to the right there to right in front of your fucking face. And I guess Forlorn wants to show up now. Where is he? Oh, Forlorn. There you are. You little bitch. Little bitch. Took out half your health, little bitch. Can't swing that sword, little bitch. Get beat up by my mace, little bitch. Can't do damage, little bitch. See ya. Get vanquished. Alright, now as I was trying to do... Um... There was an archer up there, right? Yeah, and over there, alone knights literally fall from the sky. They just, you know, come out of thin air. How did you... Yeah, that, hurt. that hurts pretty good. That hurts pretty good. Bow and arrow are very helpful in this area. Very helpful. For, for, for cheesing things that need cheesing. Like, these annoying ass archers. Strategically placed all over the map. He's just gonna fire that missile at me all the way from over there. And you have a significant more amount of health. Either that or I'm just really far away. Do I have those poison arrows? I should have those poison arrows. All out of poison arrows. Huh. My dog is barking. She's barking away. Come on, alone knight. Just give up. Just throw yourself off the cliff and save me some time. Alright. Alright, I don't think I'm going to be able to shoot him with a... With a bow. Oh, maybe I can. If he just... If he just holds still. If he just holds still. Gotta, like, lead it a little bit, you know? Gotta lead that arrow. Come on, one more, one more. Alrighty. See, like, those two, those two weren't there, like, a moment ago, and now they just, like, they just popped in to, like, pay me a visit. God damn it. Alright then, that works. You're just gonna derp out and run off the edge. Alright, you. We can engage in some combat. Too bad you're a little bitch. Now you gotta watch out that you don't get gang banged from another direction. Because they do come from, like, everywhere. Like... If you just want to, you can't little, you can't speed run through this place as easy as you could before. It's that much harder. Excuse me. I'm just trying to pull the lever. I don't need to shoot you with the bow. I'll just come and get your ass. Come for that. I'm coming for that ass. Here I come. Right after I get this item. And drink Estes.
Hello. See if we can't get rid of him right off the bat. Cause if you know, if any of you uh, know what those chimneys do, basically whenever you hit them, uh, they explode violently. So if he's dead, it'll make our journey through that little alleyway a lot easier. All right, let's see what's in this chest here. What do you got? What do you got? Life Ring plus one and Twinkling Titanite. I'll take it, I'll take it. Actually, save ourselves some time. Let's just jump right off. See, I want to go smite Smelter... I want to go fight Smelter Demon. But... I only have two Estus right now. And I don't think that'd be a wise decision. Trying to fight him on two Estus. Cause he's still a pain in the ass as he always was. Ah uh, yes, those chests will be fun to get to. <laughs> of course, we'll try to get them once I get. I think flash sweat uh, works really well for that, as well as uh, using the Pharos Lockstone to uh, cover yourself in water with the little trap that's up top where the. Uh, the uh, ember used to be the dull ember which they did move it's at the very first bonfire in Lost Bastille which um, I don't think I've gotten to yet and what am I doing <laughs> going in circles here because we went the other way to Bastille we took uh, No Man's Wharf instead of uh, Forest Fallen Giants so that'll be in a little loot uh, yeah, I don't know how to put this, but like, we'll come back to it. No, fuck. <laughs> we'll come back to those small things, uh, in certain videos whenever there's a little extra time. All for one item there. Wow. Great. I get to kill all those alone knights again. I'll edit it out though. Right back to where we were. Because I know you guys don't want to see me grind through all the enemies again. You gonna cheese spells at me? I don't think so. What the fuck? Where did you come from? Why are there so many? Running out of arrows, no! Please, just put the bow away. Some lacerating arrows for you, sir. Would you like to bleed out today? Well, here you go. Alright guys, so we've made it back. After dying once more, uh, we're back. Now I need to make this jump. Right here. Let's <laughs> so spooky. Oh my god, I hate that. I died there like just a couple minutes ago because. As I was jumping off, one of the alone knights slashed me in the back. Uh, so yeah. We didn't make the jump. We didn't make that jump. Took a swim. We're gonna need this later on in life. So we'll go ahead and open it. Quick crying, bitch!
All right. It was literally raining alone nights. And this is Lucatiel, it should be. That's not Lucatiel. Huh. Pretty sure you can summon Lucatiel for this fight, unless they moved it. Because we did summon her. Flexile for sinner. Rotten. Summoner for rotten. And see how it goes. Haven't fought this bastard in a while. Wow, we hit for a lot of damage. It's already buffing up. I have never hit for so much damage on this man. We don't need a two-hander shield, nope. And his AoE fire damage is significantly less. roll out of the way and this is where having a shield becomes no longer important because it's a big flame dick Holy fuck. Ho oh, ho ho. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, if this kills me. For the win. <sighs> what an epic fight. Jesus. That was something else. Alright, guys. I'm gonna have to wrap this episode up here. Gonna have to cut out a lot of stuff. But, uh, that should be it. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you gotta do to show your support. As always, see you next time. Thanks for watching.